Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bajem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations to the Akim out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. Uh, today, we want to just kind of jump into uh, the charge that's been given on the brothers out here on the highways and the byways from uh, Yahweh Shai. Starting from uh, Luke 4 and 18. Right. This is Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are rude. Now, that's the choice given to the brothers out here on the highways and the byways. Preach the gospel to the poor. That's the first one right there. And so, you know, this is why we're on the highways and the byways to reach these people, who, the unreachable, so to speak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you wouldn't go to the rich areas and find our brothers and sisters in those rich areas. You'll see them on the highways and the byways like we are here on the, on the corners here in Houston, Texas. Because we got a lot of our people that, that are in a, in a poor state, man. Mentally, physically, and they need help, man. So the Most High has charged his men to come out and give them the tools the first, the, the, the beginning of the tools that they need to, to uh, walk that righteous and holy path, right? which is uh, teaching them this word, man. Right. We got that in, uh... Uh, this is 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 9 and verse... Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get some context. We'll go ahead and start here. Yeah. First Corinthians chapter nine and verse. We'll start at verse uh, verse verse eight. All right. Say I these things as a man, and said not the law, for the, it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. The Doth Yahweh take care for oxen? Mm -hmm. Or saith he it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he that plows should plow in hope, and he that threshes in hope shall be a partaker of his hope. Uh -huh. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, it is a great thing. Is it a great thing if we shall reap of you carnal things? So when you go into that, a lot of these uh, pastors use this, especially Israelite, uh, different groups, such as DMS, they're used this to say that because he has given spiritual things um, according to the, the gospel, mm -hmm. that they should somehow reap a carnal benefit. Right. As if that's some kind of an exchange of uh, an exchange that the most high set up, that he's gonna give a group of men the understanding of the gospel first. And then as they teach it to others, they'll make part of it. And that's not the case. You know, you freely give, freely receive. Man. That's right. Right. And that's 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 right. that's. Get that. Yeah, that's intense. Yeah, because that's a carnal. That's a carnal way of looking at at these spiritual scriptures, man. Because they looking at and they looking at it to do brothers out of out of uh, out of their own their hard earned money, man. Right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah go ahead. This is Hebrews chapter twelve, verse twelve. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, uh -huh. and make straight path for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Yeah, there you go, man. That's, that's, that's basically being, being uh, in that righteous manner right there, man. Right. right. Following that righteous manner. That's right. And, and, and like they say, be peace. You know, have peace and holiness with all men. You know, don't talk down on your people, but try to uplift them. Don't right, don't yeah. try to talk down on the on the lame. Yeah, there you go. You know, try to yeah. talk to them so they can be healed. And that's know, just so they can be either whether it's spiritually right. or, or physically. Yeah, and that's yeah. just like what the brother brought uh, read in Luke four and eighteen. That that the charge that we have, man. Yeah. yeah. Teach the poor, man. Yeah. You know, but see, we have guys that'll look at a poor guy. And then, you know, they they, they basically are mocking and scorning those, those dudes, man. Right. Looking, yeah. looking at them like, oh, look what the most high did to him. Woo! You can't do that. They're a curse. That's not part. Yeah, it's right. they'll say that he's a curse. But what, what, what Yahweh Shai said whenever he whenever he was asked, 
you know, why was he, uh, when he was asked by the disciples, why did he, uh, why was this man made lame? Born blind. Yeah. Born yeah, he blind. Said, what did his mother do? With yeah, what did his mother or his father yeah, do? What, was it him? Was it his father? Or his he father? told him yeah. nothing. He said just for the manifestation. You know, for the manifestation yeah. of the power of the, the most power high. Of the most yeah. high. Yeah. You got people that are put in a certain right. condition just right. to be brought out of it right. to right. show the most high's power. Yeah, right. right. You know, right. That's why uh, it's so heavy because you got people that are coming from different um, um, backgrounds and lifestyles of life uh -huh. and you got people that, that automatically limit the power of of Yahweh to take them out of those situations. Right, right. And you know see, and that's very heavy because yep. that goes into uh, uh, different things in the uh, in the Corinthians, which we'll get into. Yeah, because see, what they do, it, what they do, man, they basically they they're denying the power of the Most High yeah. in, that, in that sense, man. And see, they talk down upon these people. I right, give me a one, uh, Psalms one hundred nine, and uh, I think it's I think it's at sixteen. Okay. But uh, yeah, they talk down, they talk down on the people, man, and. That's not the way to be in this truth, man. We're supposed to show mercy, mercy and kindness and gentleness as being men of the Lord to be examples for these people out here. Because, man, we got enough ruthless cats out here, man, that cursing, not showing mercy towards right. our people and everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but right. mercy, if you, we, we, if you want mercy, you have to be willing to be merciful. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's how you're going to get it because you're merciful at the end. You're not uh, condemning someone to, to death or to, uh, to judgment. That's right. right. That they, they are able to get get out of it. Look, look, mm -hmm. Moses. He he was uh, Pharaoh's son, and he had the riches and everything, the good life. Yeah. But he chose to, to uh, suffer the affliction, like the scriptures say, right. with his yeah. people. Yeah, and he yeah. was merciful. Right. Going right. through the different times when the Most High wanted to destroy the, the children of Israel uh, for their 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 transgressing in the wilderness. Yeah. He was saying that he was he he, he put himself and said, yeah, "Hey, right. take me out. Uh -huh. Take me out of the book of life." And, and so that they can still inherit yeah. right. their blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was willing to even not be of the elect. Right. So right. people right. don't understand how heavy that is. That's, That's like right. Moses piece. was willing to give up being being an, a, being of the elect to not be written in the book of life to basically make sure that Israel was not destroyed in the wilderness. That was a he man was pretty much ready to give away everything because he had Pharaoh to wealth. You know, yeah, he gave yeah. that up. And then he was ready to give the next level up. That's right. <laughs> he was ready to give up everything for his that's, that's, that's a, a serious level of compassion yeah. for your people right there. Yeah. Right. And just like with Yahweh Shai, he came out, and when he saw the master, he said he had compassion for him. Right. Yeah. So Moses and, and Yahweh Shai showing that same compassion. Yeah, well, that's why, that's why in, in Deuteronomy 18, it's like unto me. It's like unto me. Yep, yep. Because when you look at the, like the brother brought out, Moses was living, was, 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 uh, was one of the richest men or living in the richest man on the planet's house. Right, right. That's yeah. like someone that lives that's like someone that lives that grows up in the house of uh of the Rothschilds. Uh-huh. And give And they worth five hundred trillion dollars, but you somehow were like adopted into the family and, and uh, you look you basically got control and power of the whole world. They keep uh -huh. you as a son. Right, right. And you say, you know what, I'm gonna just step down and come to the hood. Yeah. Woo! I'm gonna step that's what he basically did. That's what he did, man. How many Jakes would do that? For his people. For his people. Yeah. Yeah. They be cooning. Right, right. They Jake will be cooning uh -huh. hard. Yeah, hey. I'll pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah I right. fall. Yeah, change his voice. There's education out here. There's jobs. There's there's schools. Yeah, That's hey. what most Jason do. And then and, 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 <laughs> and, and, and start calling his people niggers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he would so he basically like the brother showed, he stepped down from his high place and humbled himself for his own people. Right. And then Yahweh Shah on a spiritual level, even higher than that, did that from the heavens. Yeah, that's right. He was in paradise. In, in the spirit world and decided and he was open and the most high allowed him to come down and humble him to come in as a man uh -huh. on earth to basically redeem his people and that's why we got to show mercy towards our people and compassion so when we see the poor man we got to be compassionate in our hearts towards him man. Uh, 109 109 uh, starting 16 to 22 it's uh, Psalm chapter 109 and verse 16 because that he should remember not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. Look at that, man. Now, those are two two of the charges that Yahweh Shai came out with in Luke 4 and 18. He said, teach the poor, heal the broken hearted. Go ahead up. All right. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. Look at this. So these brothers coming out here cursing, putting curses on people. Right. Pray, praying and cursing on people, yeah, man. That's what he's talking about. It's not talking about the, the, the so-called opprobious words. Word, or foul yeah, it's not talking that's about... That's actually talking about they love cursing people. 
putting curses like bad. I pray the most high destroy you. Exactly. The moment they come and they, they will do their prayers. You see exactly. them on the block. You see them Guys on the will block. come up and they'll be like, Shalom, hey, yo, I'm right. Hey, right. They'll do all that stuff yep. on the God right yep. there, all of them in unison. Yep. And saying, and look what that's saying. Then those curses are gonna come right back upon you. Because you, you guys are cursing your own people at that, bro. That's yeah, it. I'm so bad about that's it. And they're already under a curse. I can, if they're already under the curse of the law. What's, what, what does it make sense for you to continue cursing exactly. those that are already in, in, in a bad condition? Bro. And that's, that's the same, like the scripture y'all was always bring out. One curse and one blessing. Who will the Most High hear? Yep. You know? So, Most High ain't trying to hear, hear, hear you curse his own, his people, man. Yeah. Curse is already written in the law. He ain't got to do, that's, that doesn't curse enough. Right, right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, you know? It says, as he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from it. Look at that. You see, and that's far from a lot of guys in can't miss, man. Yeah. I haven't seen that one time where the most, where GMS has blessed anybody on camera, man. Yeah, unless it's one of their own. Unless it's one of their own, man. Which that, which that goes against this, uh, the Sermon of the Mount. Right, right. Unless so, uh, enemies don't, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do good to your enemies or whatever. Yep. Or, or you know, and that, you that follow the truth of the Most High. Right, that's right, man. So let it be far from him, as he clothed himself with cursing, like as it with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Ooh. So he said, let it be overflowing, since they liked it. Because yep. your energy that you put out, as far as that energy, all you're going to do is just bring it upon yourself when you uh -huh. are pushing that off. You know they always yeah, because whatever you throwing out there into the into the into out, out here, man, it's gonna come back on you, man. You know it's just like in uh, the cause and effect thing, man. Yeah. Oh. Verse nineteen. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Uh -huh. Let it, this be the reward of my adversaries from Yahweh. And of them that speak evil against my soul. Look at that, man. So, like for us, man, we don't we don't go tit for tat and somebody somebody throwing curses. We ain't trying to throw right. curses because yep. we know what the scriptures are saying. Yeah. The scriptures, you throwing curses upon brothers who trying to do things righteous. Those things are going. You throwing it out there, it's gonna come right back on you, man. Yeah. You got guys somebody like, like Tahar, you know, the video clip. He was praying to all the people that he was that he came up with in school get destroyed. Right. Oh, you guys ain't right for the old West. He started naming names. The most high is gonna destroy you. The most high is gonna destroy you. The most high is gonna destroy you. You can't you you're doing that, you basically setting yourself up to be destroyed. Right, right, right. Because you because you're not made to be the judge of, of of you know, you're not made to be the judge, the executioner of, of the of the final judgment on a man's soul. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Hurt yourself. Verse 21. But do thou for me, O Yahweh, for thy namesake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. Uh -huh. So that's going to be Yahweh Shah that's going to do it, because yep. he is the deliverer. Right, right. That's, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. That's yep. what it's Yep, that's it. That's it right there, man. So that's one of those things, just to kind of, you know, edify you brothers out there, man, just in case you're still out there throwing curses up on people. All right, man. The scriptures are speaking contrary to what your actions are showing. Yeah. So is, uh, you got to you got to abide by these, these these words rather than abiding by what man is telling. You. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what that's gonna do, just like the scripture says, man, you going that destruction is gonna come back upon you. Whatever you putting out there, saying that this man cursed this man to death, that stuff is gonna come back on you, man, and yeah. it's gonna manifest on, upon you. And the men around you, they're going to see that and they're going to feel the most high. Yeah. Because see, what's happening is you start to see, like uh, I think it was brother was telling us earlier that two two guys were already, you know, taken out. What, what was that? Was yeah, a couple guys at GMS that, uh, that died. Yeah. That's that right. got killed. They got killed. That last a couple weeks ago. See, and that goes back into behavior, how you operating in this truth, man. You know, you got to be humble. You got to carry yourself a certain kind of way. You got to speak a certain kind of way. Yeah, well, they already have left GMS, but you got to think about what poison was put in them while they were in it. Right, and right, then right. Then go back out there in the world, it compounds it even worse because now you made them, now you're already putting bad things inside this person while they're in your group. Right. Then when they leave, they're going to be monsters. Completely. Right. Mm -hmm. Because now they're in a position where 
they already have this mentality of doctrine that has already even made them worse in their thinking. Because right. you have a gang that comes in and they have a certain thinking about certain things. Yeah. But when you get into some of these groups, they compound the level of the way you think, the way you, uh, you look at your nation. Yeah. And now you start to look at your nation on a, on a level of like, of a hatred level versus like a compassion, having compassion upon them. Right, uh, right. So now you leave back out into the world, man, you just completely, these yeah. people don't, I don't, yeah. these people really don't matter to me. They really don't. So now you, now you twofold more the child of sex exactly. in that sense. You're, 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 now you're, you was worse off before you came in than what you, when you were before. Oh, exactly. Yeah, before you came in. Exactly. So that, that's a, that's a major theme right there. So I got a, I got a scripture here. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 17. The righteous cry and Yahweh hear it and deliver it, deliver it them out of all their troubles. Yahweh is nigh unto them that are broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh deliver them out of them all. So you're looking at looking at that broken that broken heart, just yeah. like I like I'm, I keep going back to that Luke 4 and 18, you know, teaching the poor, and then you know, you know, mending the heart of the broken hearted man. You know, the Most High is, is nigh to you, man. Yeah. He's nigh to you. You know, so you know we got to really take heed to that to, to what the scriptures are saying. Yeah, that's a good one, man, because the whole uh, it's like you said over there with the broken broken in heart. Yeah. Because you know it's like in this society. You know, uh, people go through things, man, and really it's like, you know, people talk about the, oh, uh, well, because, you know, the wrong breakdown was always told to us, the righteous and the wicked, it's about the righteous, it's about Israel, and the wicked, it's about Esau. It's not no, that. It's not. It's talking about Israel. It's talking about Israel. All, oh, the righteous and wicked are Israel. Yeah, because those are, those are, 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 are considered righteous, they're going to have, they're going to be broken hearted in this society. That's why a lot of times if you're the truth and you look on it uh, from the inside looking out yeah. at the world from the from being inside the truth now, you look and you see people that are living it up in this society and they don't have no um, they have no thought process about what's going on right. with the state of their people. They don't give a dang about that. They don't care about anything else but living it up. And they're not broken in heart. Yeah, and you right. examine them, their daily life, they don't have no there's nothing that ponders and weighs upon their mind. Right, There's right, nothing right. that upsets them or bothers them because they're not going through that affliction. Yep. That's why when the brother read it, he says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yep. And, and, and it's, a lot of that is going to be psychological, man. Mental stuff that you're going to go through right. in this society. Yeah, that's right. That's right, man. Because, man, this, 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 it's, it's, enough, it's enough in society, man, to make... A regular man just go mad, man. Yeah, it's yeah, enough here, it man. And that's why you got to be locked into this source, man. When you think, when you think about this, man, when you're not locked into this, man, life it oh, gets so heavy yeah, for you. Man. Yeah, it overwhelms you, man. And you you sit down at nighttime and just think about stuff. You like, hey, man, why, why, why? Yeah. But you're not understanding. But like like the brother said earlier before we start camp, man. It, it, it's a uh, how, how did you put it out to know to be in in the truth. It's a, it's a it, you can cope with it better. Yeah, you can it's, cope it, with it better. It ain't easy. Yeah, it ain't but easy. You can cope with it better because you know why. At least you know why. Right, right, right. Because right. you got jakes. You know, especially we're talking about just men in general. Because brothers go uh, the uh, brothers in the faith go through a different trial uh -huh. compared to sisters in the faith. Right. You know, because for one, even the sisters in this side, they can fall back comfortably under Esau's system. Yeah. And Esau will take care of them. For Jake, it don't work, it like, don't work like that. So you're talking about a complete uncomfortability with brothers. And you see a lot of brothers like on YouTube, they're complaining about the state of, of brothers, of the brothers in general around the nation. Right. And these guys are not even going to believe this thing. Right. But right. They're, they're talking about, man, it's so hard out here. What well, we got to deal with, we got to deal with this. We got to deal with all the press or oppressing us. Then we got to deal with, you know, the community. You got to deal with guys that are pocket watch haters. You got, you got to deal with, your, with uh, the, the state of our women, like we were talking about earlier. The state overall of our women is, is at a very, very low state. Uh huh. And so for brothers that try and do this, they're like, man, this is getting overwhelmed. Yeah, it's getting overwhelmed. <laughs> and see, what, and not understanding. 
the, 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 the situation that we in, man, yeah. these curses are real, man. Yeah. And so they're being weighed down with their sins and also with the with what the world is throwing on. Well, it right? tells you in, the, in Deuteronomy 28 that these the, these curses shall overtake you. Shall overtake you. I mean, they yeah. shall completely not just get at right. you. Right. Yeah. They're going to overtake you, uh -huh. pursue you, and yeah. just, I mean, just dominate you. Yeah. Right. yeah that's <laughs> you right. That's right. You know? It's the, and so man, <laughs> and that, that's one of those things. Like we were, we were speaking earlier about the one of the guys that's on YouTube. These dudes are always talking about economics is the way to get out of the situation that we're in, man. And that that right, like, dude. That's not gonna do anything for you. You ain't gonna be able to buy no politicians. Yeah. Because whatever, however much or billions of dollars that you have, man, if you had, if you had about that, spending power. Hey, we got collected this amount of spending power. Guess what? Your oppressor has a trillion times more of that. Yeah, right, right. It has the system ability to, to drop the system. Like, like right. one of the guys I saw. Like one Take of the away your spending power like a snap of a finger. Come on. Like one of the guys was, uh, I was looking at that. They were talking about the NBA players and how much money they make. And, you know, they was up there, man, look how much Kobe made. And then one of the dudes come out and he says, you see how much money Shaq and Kobe made? But think about the person who paid them that money. Come on, bro. Come on, man. These dudes got money coming out their like, ears, bro. They were bragging about, I seen an article that said that they had the top uh, hip hop moguls. And they had like Jay-Z, mm -hmm. Dr. Dre, and um, Diddy as the top three. And they said that that uh, so that Jay-Z is so far worth like uh, $800 million. Right, right. Now, I don't know how true, that's what they said in the little article. Mm -hmm. So someone was bragging in the what's called, you know, some Jake's is bragging about how Jay Z done signed this two hundred million dollar deal with Live Nation. Right, and right. Basically, you, you make uh, your album, you do tours, and it's a guaranteed two hundred million. So they're like, "Oh, he's wrong. Look at this money he's making." But like the brother said, who was the one who signed that two hundred million dollar deal? And said, "I'm gonna give you two hundred million dollars." Right, right, right. right. Who right. was the guy that's doing that? Who's the guy that's doing that? Because they're right? looking at a guy like a Leo Cohen, uh -huh. who's a so-called Jew, a part of you, some of you guys call him Kazar. Uh huh. Amalek, as we call him. Right. They'll look at that guy who was a guy that was instrumental in the rise of Jay Z, mm -hmm. and they'll look at his net worth and they'll say he's worth 50 million. You see, we'll be lying to you. They lied to you, right? These guys are worth more because they have the ability to sign money away that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Right, right, and right. And they can give it to whoever they want. Right. That's right. power. That's power right there, man. That's power. That's right. You don't got that. You're, 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 you're poor. You're oppressed. Ooh, yes, saying that Jay Z signed out on fifty million dollars. Huh? You're saying Jay Z signed out on fifty million dollars? No, no, no. He, he was saying he said uh, the two hundred million. Yes, Jay Z signed a Jay Z signed a contract with Live Nation. Like you got, uh, you have two hundred million. So I'm gonna see what, what's his total net worth in your eyes? They said in the article eight hundred something million, but all this stuff. Jay Z is worth nine hundred something million. Damn, he's a big enough. We say two billion. He's damn near reaching a bill. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You don't understand that. And he's paid his tax. He did everything he can. Jay-Z has so much money coming to change that you don't know about it. But see, the thing about it is, well, see what a lot of people are going right. understand? Right. I understand the whole lot. Yeah, how do you have a network when your network is based on what somebody else is giving to you? Right, you, right. You're, you have Rockefeller, right? Uh -huh. But somebody else owns you. See, you, you, see gotta, that, you get yeah, cut from that, somebody that, that, else. That's what he, that's Jay Z on Rockefeller. He ain't getting cut from nobody. He, Jay, Z, Jay Z put a hundred million dollars down to get rid of the people that's living on the street down. There. But but but, but it's it's that happens, bro. No, no. Listen to what so, he said. So tell me that. No, no. This where did his hundred million dollars go? And it's going to get the homeless off the street. They built their own projects for the homeless. Now. No, no, he ain't talking about that. What he said, he's talking about. What, what he, no, this is what he said. Listen to what he said. Listen, listen to what he said. He wasn't, he wasn't saying nothing about Jay Z, and he's basically talking about the people who pay Jay Z his money. Come on, bro. Wait, that's all he's saying. Yeah. Those if Jay was still back in here, but, but that's on the thing. bringing homeless facilities. Does, does, okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Does Jay Z like the same thing? Does Jay Z receive 100 percent profits from Rockefeller? Does, does Jay-Z receive 100% profits from Rockefeller? Nobody would ever in life receive a 100% No, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking, is he having to share a cut outside of his yeah, office? Everybody in the world is going to have to share a cut. Is he sharing it with someone above him? It's three people you're going to share a cut with in every business. Does, 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 does Jay-Z own a major <laughs> distribution? Huh? Does he have a, a printing press where he can print CDs? <laughs> you does will never Jay -Z, own that. 
this is all we try to what's say. This is all we try to say. This is all we try to say. What's the purpose of something that a person? All we try to say is that what's the purpose of something that you would never own? All we're saying is our oppressor got their hands in every one of our people's pockets. That's all we say. That's what we're trying to say. That's all we say. Because our people think that, that these celebrities are independent amongst our people. They're not. They're not, they're not independent, man. They're not Nobody. independent. They're about old. Old. Nobody on earth is independent. Yes, they are. Because you have to believe in a sword, your high power, which is God, to make it in earth. So nobody would ever be independent. Tell how much money it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it, it ain't, come on, man. I hey, hear this man. shit. This shit is going on okay, down the street all day long. And I hate to see we have some ignorant ass black people out here right. talking about shit that they don't know about. Hey, right. hey, you hit that on point. Hey, you hit that on point. We hit that on point. Telling you the truth. You, we telling the truth about the scriptures. We use the scripture in earth. That's what, what we talking about. That's exactly what you're saying. Exactly what you just said. That's what we're That's what we were just on, bro. That's what we're talking about. Huh? That's, that's, that's right. I will tell you everything you gonna go to before you go. But go tell me bro, something I, mean, I don't know. But bro, that's if you would just came up here no, without I'm them. Hearing, I'm hearing this shit all over down the street. You ain't even hear what we were talking about. Because you, because you, 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 you came in, you came in on the cut right when we talk about something. You telling me about? We talking about the, talking about the oppressed. This. We talking about the homeless. We talking about all. We talking about the poor. What about the homeless and the poor? That's what we're talking about. That's what we getting into, man. In the Bible, let me hear what verse. You're going to talk about the homeless. Come on, man. We done hey, brought hey, out several verses well, we just came up here, man. Hey, we'll, we'll we ain't going to go back. Yeah, go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bring it out. Go ahead. Bring it out. What are you saying hey, about people doing drugs? What are you saying about all this? Man, come on, man. It's telling you one thing in that Bible. Now, drugs it, are everywhere. It tell you that in the Bible. It, 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 but it also hey. has one thing. It's called a serenity prayer in that Bible also. What it say about that? that? God help me change the things that I well, cannot this change. Is what we that's what, and that's what we doing. This is what we talking about today. This, this is, is what we song, talking about. This is Psalms 41 and 1. Is Blessed is he that considereth the poor. Yahweh will deliver him in the time of trouble. Yahweh will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Yep. This is what we talking about right here. When we was up here, when the brother was what speaking, is his the enemies, what is his the enemies, Tell me what the enemies are the oppressor. The enemies the ain't no oppressor. The enemy is you, bro. Come on, man. The enemy is us. Here, we have our own enemies. <laughs> oh, come you on. You not understand, hey, bro. The only way you can change things in life is to change okay. yourself. You know, you're an enemy to yourself. You smoking that cigarette. That's so right. You an enemy to yourself. Life. You talk about it here. You an enemy to it yourself. Talk about that's right. What, what are talking about what now? And that's why he got a serenity prayer in the Bible, man. Y'all don't know shit. Come on, man. All right, well. Bro, my dad's a pastor. Well, go <laughs> tell him. Oh, OK, OK. That's, hey, that's, hey, why. Hey, that's why. That's why. Hey, 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 hey, now we understand. Yeah. Now we understand. Now we know why you think the way you think, bro. Now we see why you think the way you think. Hey, I get it. Now we see why you think the way you think. Hey, I get it. Isaiah 29 and 9, bro. 29 and 9, we get to me. Right, right. Isaiah 29 and 9. Y'all understand it. It's stupid. Because y'all ain't reading right. the verse and living it for what it say. And right. You ain't That's even smoking that. How you know that? I smoke a cigarette. How you know that? This is my point. But you ain't living and doing what he say to do. It's only two things Come on, man. God no, no, promised you in life. Is and that is yeah, life yeah. and death. Uh, this is you choose all the road and you walk down. Okay, bro. Hey. Hey, this is Isaiah right, 29 bro. Go smoke your cigarette bro. and shave your head ball. Go do that. Get an edge line. Do eat all pork. that. Eat Keep doing pork. it. Hey. And eat your pork sandwich. Keep doing it. Hey, hey, and see, see what that's going to get you. See if you're going to get everlasting life. Hey. See if you're going to get that. Nobody ever gets everlasting life because okay. God promised you two things. Oh, man. And that's life oh, boy. and death. Come on, man. Hey, hey, everlasting life is not a beast. Why is it in the Bible, though? Why is it in the Bible? Why is everlasting life in the Bible? Tell me that preacher man, son. Why is everlasting life Everybody in the Bible? Everybody has to die. Come on, man. You cannot be a hundred and What the scripture says some of you will not taste death? Yeah, yeah. Where's the scripture, the scripture that thing. says some of you will not Don't taste death? First yeah. Book to the Bible. Come on, man. Hey, Come go on, ahead. Bro. This is get, get, get Isaiah 29 and 9. You err. You err not knowing the scriptures, bro. I know the right. Not now, bro. This is Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourself in wonder. 
<laughs> pull your Bible out and contest this, man. Get your Bible out and contest this. Get your sword. Get your sword. You ain't brought out a scripture yet, but you're running your mouth. Pull your Bible out, man. What's the pull your Bible out. I'm going to ask you one thing. I ain't pulling out What's nothing until you pull a Bible out. What's the strongest verse I ain't in the pulling out nothing, nothing out the Bible until you pull it out. Read the book of Esther. That book of Esther would never man. tell you about God or Jesus. The man. only thing in that Bible said is my Lord. Mm -hmm. And okay. it's the shortest verse <laughs> in the Bible okay. and the most powerful the verse. Shortest in. verbal is Jesus wept. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Right? That's yeah. the shortest that's verse. The, that's that's you shortest err that's do not know in the scriptures. Not the shortest verse. You err not knowing the scriptures. I'm gonna tell you like I say it's the shortest. It's the shortest. It's the shortest. Man, let's get back in the Bible. But we better get back to the regular schedule program. Yeah, we're gonna get back to the regular schedule. All right, man. Hey, this go in the pool pit, man, and do that. Bro, go in the pool pit. They might want to hear that. Hey, bro, hey, you look like a We're trying to preach salvation to our people, like man. Person. That's what we're trying to Hey, man, I think you're a pastor. 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 This ain't for everybody, hey, bro. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, let's, hey, let's, let's do this order. Hey, let's do this order. Hey, listen, bro. Let's do this order. Come on, man. got a question, we'll answer it. Hey, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey got a question, answer. bro, we'll answer it. Hey, what's your question? What's your question? What's your question? Read the book. What the book of Esther tell you? You know everything right now. So that's that the whole book. book. Esther sums the whole Bible. But the book of Esther, our enemies is ourselves. The book of Esther was about... About uh -huh. the uh -huh. yeah. Jews and what, 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 what color was Mordecai when he was talking about hanging the Jews? Uh, come on, what man. color was Mordecai? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Write the scripture out. Prove it in the Bible. Hang the Jews. No, he was. He didn't do it because Esther talked about it. Hold on, hold on. And she was a Jew. Say that again. You don't know the book of Esther, man. Say that again. I know the book of Esther. Who was what? Who was what? He said Mordecai tried to have the Jews hang. Mordecai. Who tried to have the Jews? That's wrong, bro. That's wrong, bro. Mordecai is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a Benjamite. Come on, man. It was Haman. He's of the tribe on, of Israel, man. man. Nah, it ain't. It no, ain't. we ain't gonna Come read it. Come on, bro. Have to read it because we you know, know it. it. Uh, hey, brother, you gonna have to get on the phone. Yeah. Hit Google. Google. Go to Google and put when in Mordecai, it, bro. Go to Wikipedia, bro. When you read it to me, you got the Bibles in your hand. Read it to me. So, so you so said you Esther so and Mordecai was trying to hang the Jews. Mordecai was trying to hang the Jews. Come on, man. So you see what we're talking about? Go get Isaiah 29 and 9. Haman was the husband of Esther. Read that shit to me right now. Read that shit. Hey, man. Read it. You can't read it. We ain't got to read it, bro. We ain't got to read it. We know it, man. We know it. This is Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord have poured out upon them the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your, their eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have been covered. Yeah, man, bro. our people are under a deep spell right now, man. Yeah. Deep sleep, bro. Right. Yeah, our people are under a deep sleep, man. I mean, it's, it's the fact that someone, their eyes, and what happens is, they can't even perceive that their eyes are ears. Get that right at Isaiah 69. I'm going to go get 100 people and sit around you right now. And tell you everything you need to know. Okay, go ahead and bring them out here then. A hundred, a hundred people. Just bring your daddy. That's hey, all you got. Hey, Just hey. bring your daddy, the pastor. 